Hello everyone, uh, it's Jill here. Welcome to my craft. Today I'm going to be stamping some photorealistic images. And if you don't know what these are, they are an extremely finely etched, very detailed stamp. I mean, it's sometimes a bit of a job to see what the image is. Um, they are something I've had for quite a few years in my craft kit. This uh, this little one I actually just recently bought in a craft shop, having said that. Um, charity shop, sorry. Um, some of the others are here. They're, they're almost like a negative image of a photo. And as I said, they are extremely detailed, very finely etched. I've got a number of them here that we're going to play with today. So we're just going to show you how I stamp those up. Um, we need some stays on ink and a dust buddy and a brayer because they are so finely detailed you don't want to be pushing your stamp down into the ink you're better to brayer it on so i've got a number of different surfaces as well that we can try so i've got some paper i've got some silk art card um some ordinary photo paper and some glossy cardstock so it's this is just be a bit of a, an experiment to show you how these images stamp out on different surfaces so first off i'm going to start with who should we start with should we start with the fairy she's very nice so just pop these ones over this way and i think we'll start her on some silk art card so i'm going to use some colored silk art card again it's coated card stock so just dust it over with your dust buddy because anything coated or glossy will pick up ink from your fingers ink what am i saying oil from your fingers um and it can create a bit of a little blank spot if you like when you're when you're stamping so let's just come into the two colors of stays on that i've got today are timber brown and jet black so i'm gonna have a go with the timber brown on this one So just ink up the brayer and as you put the ink on to the, to the image you can see it pop out and these give you a very vintage image um, they're not going to be 100% crisp as a photo if you like it's going to be something a little bit different I tend to make a batch of these up and then Put them away into my craft kit. Just to make sure we give it another little go over. And will she go this way? She will go this way. Let's just give her a little stamp there. Pop that down. Give it a bit of pressure. So you can't really push too hard on these because they're so detailed. They don't have a lot of give, if you like. Um, and I probably wouldn't use a stamping platform for these because I think one stamp is it. If you try and go back in again, there's a risk you could smudge. And it more than likely stick to the card, as it has. And just peel it away for the reveal. There. That's quite pretty, I think. It's a bit, a bit smudgy around here, but it's great for a vintage image. It'll probably take a little while to dry. I know it stays on, but... It, it still take 10 minutes or so to dry. You only want to put that to one side. Now, just for comparison, we will stamp her onto, we stamp her onto a piece of paper at the moment just to see what we get. So obviously if you stamp onto paper, you don't need stays on. You could probably use a, a detailed ink, such as your, um, which is where are the archival inks or the... Um, which is the other one that I use quite a lot of, the Versafine. It's another one I use quite a bit, and I've got a lot more colours in that. Um, let's have a go here. Put down on there. Just get a bit of pressure. And there we go, you can see the difference there of the image. It's the one that's come out on the silk art card right 
let's try again just give her another go that probably dries straight away on the paper let's have a go with some photo actual photo paper oh, i don't think i've got a piece big enough no let's go and come over to the glossy then on this one change of plan so it dusted all up nicely. Ink the brayer again. Just a bit of nice coating. There we go. It's a really pretty image of this one. So I said I'm not too sure where you would get these from these days. Um I would look online, you may find them in some of the smaller niche type craft shops. Um, as I said, charity shops, which was my latest purchase. Um, I don't know if Stamp Smith is still going, maybe somewhere like that may have them. Right, let's just give that a second or two. Oh look, see that? It's, it's come out beautiful on there. So you've got three, di three different surfaces there. So it's really just a matter of choice which you would prefer. Um, I think the paper probably comes out a bit too faded for me. But if you have a project that you want to do with that, you know, that's great. It's great. I mean, you can colour tint these as well using pencils and what have you. So that's the fairy. Um, let's see what else we can play with now. Oh, Marilyn, love Marilyn Monroe, she's lovely. Let's have a go at her, um, maybe on a bit of the silk art card. Um, in fact, I think I will come back to pink for her. And when you do these kind of things, it's always easier just to stamp up quite a lot and go back to them later. I think I'll come into Marilyn with black and white, black. Um, let's just take that ink off the brayer and come in with some black. See what results we get with this one. So sometimes it's hard to see the image. You have to wait until you've got the ink on there for it to pop for you. And these these are great on all your little vintagey projects. Right, let's get rid of her. Pop her onto there. Let's pop that down. Let's see what results we get this time. There we go, it's quite a faded result, faded um, image, this one. Uh, maybe I'll try on some glossy and see if we can get a slightly better result. So sometimes it's best just to play, um, see what happens. Um, probably black and white on here may look quite good because it's that type of, she was from that type of era, wasn't she, Marilyn? So let's have a go then. I do like the glossy car stock, I have to say it for me it gives um a crisper image. Let's try again. Right onto there. A bit of pressure. You can get all sorts of these little images. Um, we've got some babies here, some fairies. I'm going to have a look at some of the others in a moment. And there we go. So that pretty similar results, to be fair, on those. Um, but it's, it's lovely when that's all cut down. It'll look really nice. Again, just pop it to one side to dry. Um, since I'm stamping, I may as well stamp a few more of my 
smaller images let's have a look now then let's come back to a smaller one shall we let's go with this little guy here seems like a little baby with a teddy bear and this one's going on to the glossy And as you can see, this one hasn't been used as much as stamp, so we may need to give it a fair bit of ink. As you can see, as, you, as we're braying the ink onto that, the image is popping out. Let's keep going. Pop them onto there. And get them down onto there. Did I use my dust buddy? I can't remember. Let's go again. Let's pop him down onto that. There we go. I'm not too sure if I moved that actually as it went down, but we'll see if it comes out crisp or blurry. <laughs> right. Don't be peeling off. Oh, look. He's quite vintagey. I may try him again on uh, another piece. I'm not too sure if all these little dots should be here. As I said, this is quite a new stamp for me. So uh, we'll give it a go. Let's try again. And sometimes these, just, when they're fairly newish, you just need to sort of, what I call, season them. Um, just keep stamping them for a few times until you get the image you like. Sorry about that, I've just dropped that. Let's move it to the left a bit. I didn't get that straight down. Anyway, let's have a go. Again. Pressure. There we go. So he's obviously meant to be like that. It's come out. Oh, sorry, I've got my camera again. <laughs> Steady. Right, there we go. Yes, he's come out very similar again. What I might do with him, I quite like him. I might have a go at him in the timber brown. See if we can uh, just get rid of that. Lovely. And I'll just give this a quick wipe over. So when you've finished with these, just clean them up with a bit of stays on ink uh, stamp cleaner. So these these type of days, if you like, are all about playing and just seeing what happens. Right, where are we again? Oh, that's photo paper. Let's come into the glossy. Okay. Oops, forgot to do my dust buddy. Let's get that on there. And let's try again. So it's just about experimenting really to see if you've got the ink that you like, the cardstock that you like, and then see how your images come out and uh, if you can use them for your projects, put them away. If not, throw them away. At the end of the day, it's a piece of card, a piece of paper. And there he is again. So yeah, he's obviously meant to look like that. Right, let's come back into another one here. Turn that card around, I think. Let's just make sure that one's stuck on the block properly. This is a, um, it's a contemplative lady, this one. She's thinking about something. She's very pretty. And I've used this one quite a lot, actually. She's really, really pretty. Note to self, hold the stamp still. <laughs> right, there we go. That's better. Let's stick her on the other side of this see what results we get here oh look she's 
she is gorgeous and she looks lovely in the timber brown really lovely yeah i'm quite impressed with her right i'm gonna put her to one side i'm gonna try and have a go on some silk art card and see what we get with that that's definitely one i'd like a few more images of just gonna have a go over but anyway you get the idea of how to do these and as i said it's it's just another another source of making your little toppers and embellishments putting them away for a rainy day so to speak which it is today right put that down again let's see what we get with this one this time yeah again see that's another beautiful image you stamp very well that one so pop her to one side to dry pop these away and we'll have a look at some others that i've done here let's get rid of the brayer so you can see the, the different um designs so this is a little uh little vintage baby so that one's on the glossy card this one is stamped onto paper again this was using the timber brown this is the silk art card And this one is, oh, this one's glossy. So I beg your pardon, that's the photo paper. So that's not too bad, actually, for the photo paper on that one. So those have come out really well. I mean, my favourite, probably, I would have to say, is the glossy card on this one. Um, that one's a close second because of the type of project I would probably put it on. It's got that vintage look to it. Um, again, I did this one earlier. Um, again, there's some others here. This particular lady's on paper. There she is on the silk art card. With the silk art card, obviously, you've got different colours. So um, it gives you another look again. Um, this was photo, photo paper. And again, I think my preferred choice is the glossy paper. It's come out really well on that. So with all of these images, I would say just get your stamps out if you've got them. Have a play. See what you come up with cut them up, pop them away and uh, use them on your cards another day. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that's given you some ideas and uh, see you again next time. Bye!